Or where are we on those matters? Um, Teachers' allowances was reported that it's been uh, terminated by government, and then later oh, on no, it was said it's been teacher training, teacher training allowances. allowance. Yes, it was not terminated. It wasn't terminated. Are you still paying teacher training allowance? It was substituted. With what? If you say it was terminated, it means that we just stopped it arbitrarily. Yes. Yeah, so what did you substitute it with? It was substituted with the student loan scheme. What had happened was... Like the university students do? Yes. What had happened was we had upgraded the colleges of education to tertiary institutions and degree awarding institutions. Mm -hmm. Now, the colleges of education are not the only institutions awarding degrees to professional teachers. You have the University of Education, Winneba. You have the University of Cape Coast. And even Legon is producing teachers. Mm -hmm. Now, University of Education, Winneba, University of Cape Coast, and Legon, the students who are training to be professional teachers take the students' loan like students, uh, any students in any university. Mm -hmm. But then the colleges of education were still taking the students' uh, teacher training allowance. And so for reasons of equity, because all of them are going to go back with the same certificates mm -hmm. and go and teach in the same schools, and these ones take students' loan, and these ones take teacher training allowances. That's the first thing. The second thing is that with the substitution, we realized that with the substitution of teacher trainee allowances with student loans, we could increase the capacity of the uh, colleges of education to take in more students. Mm -hmm. So since we did that substitution, enrollment in teacher training colleges has gone up 63.8%. It means that 63.8% of the students in colleges of education today would not have been there if we had continued to maintain the teacher trainee allowances. And so there are several students I've met who understand, you know, and one of them told me, he said, seriously, I would not have been in training college by now. I tried twice. I wasn't taken. So it's a good policy? For him. I, he tried twice. He wasn't taken. Mm -hmm. It was when I substituted it for students' loan, and we asked them to increase their capacity that he was able to go in. And today he's training. He's in second year. Mm -hmm. He'll finish third year. And then he'll come out, he get, has a job as a professional teacher. He would not have had that opportunity if we had continued to pay teacher training allowances. And so it's for two reasons. One, equity, a matter of equity. The same teacher trainees are in University of Education. The same teacher trainees are in Cape Coast. The same teacher trainees are in Legon. Why must they, because they are in these institutions, take the student loan, but then those in the colleges of education must take teacher training allowances, you know. And so, one, for equity, two, in order to improve and expand capacity so that more students, you know, can have the opportunity to train and be able to uh, earn a job as a professional teacher.